up on Veen. We've got Yao Jinan. Is she feeling the pressure of leading the competition? Oh, she might be. That was not how it was supposed to go. Have another go. Got it the second time. Well, wow. I am surprised she's made one mistake, but such is her lead, she can afford it. She's having to sort of improvise her way through this routine. I'm wondering what that pause might do to her timing in terms of the 90 seconds. She still got through the routine. It was a curious one. Bites the lip and walks off. Uh, what happened there? She had a 14.25 on beam yesterday. Excellent elevation on the leap. She got to here and then just stepped backwards as though... She suddenly lost the thread of what she was supposed to do. Then at the second attempt, I think at the same, she was fine. She might, might have taken something out of the routine to still finish comfortably within the 90 seconds. Here's the dismount, which was okay. I think she's still got a good mark. She didn't come off. She's just left something out. Her overall execution was still of a high value. It's the difficulty. And, and uh, the judges are going to have a final discussion about this one too. You don't often see what we just saw there from Yao Jinan. Fortunately for her, though, she's built a commanding lead in the competition. She does look worried, but I reckon she might only lose three or five tenths. And, and the others still have to perform. She didn't fall off. Yamamoto, Yun, Ishikura and Shang. They'll perform in that order after her. She doesn't look happy. I do love that shot. The head just seems to be focusing for many seconds. Super slow-mo, of course. And there. What was that? She's not sure either. She wouldn't be the first athlete to just suddenly forget what's supposed to happen next. Momentary lapse in concentration, or the anyway, fourteen two five. You see, that's a good score. Not so much damage done. She's going to be fine. <laughs> it was bizarre, but it hasn't hurt her much. And fourteen two five was what she scored in qualifying. Yamamoto next. Yamamoto, she had a 12.7, a low execution value of 7.7 7, uh, on qualifying yesterday. Well done.
supervising with the footwork there. Yamamoto up towards the minute now. Feels for the end of the beam. Quite a short routine. She's pleased with it though. Yamamoto. Now as I look up and down the list of what the difficulty quotients were yesterday, hers is quite low, just five. So it's not her favourite apparatus. It was her lowest scoring one in the team event. can have a look at the vault now. It's a timely moment to do so. Dipa Kamaka of India is quite an adventurous vaulter. Stand by. Buckle up. Went for the more conservative of the vaults she can do. She has got a two and a half somersault that... Um, not today. We'll save it for the uh, the vault final if she's made it. And I'm not sure that she has. She had a, a fairly big fall yesterday in the um, qualifying. Twelve seven five for Yamamoto. So even without problems for Yamamoto, without the difficulty of someone like Yao Jinan, she's uh, one and a half marks behind her on beam. And Yao Jinan lost away in the middle of it. But I uh, must repeat, she didn't come off and still had a, uh, a routine packed with interesting and difficult elements. Yunarai is away on beam. Well done. Not a wobble. Great powers of concentration the gymnasts have when so much noise and other activity is happening all around them on other apparatus. I don't even hear the floor music when someone's performing there. Yeah. Then scored a 13 on beam yesterday. Got my fingers crossed here, she can keep this going. And she can. I think she's offered us uh, something pretty special and potentially uh, significant there. You know, right? Thirteen six for the vault of Dipa Kamaka of India. Briefly up into uh, third position with a high-scoring vault.